Hey everyone, Yoiston here, and I hope you all are doing well, wherever you are in Middle Earth. So today I come to you all with a very impromptu video. I had no idea that Warner Brothers was going to announce this or anything like that, but a couple hours ago, many news sources dropped the news that, yes, Warner Brothers New Line Cinema will be making new Lord of the Rings movies, um, or at least they're in the works at Warner Brothers and New Line according to the source that I've got pulled up right now, which is The Hollywood Reporter, which is also going to be linked in the description below. So this is just kind of me, right, getting home from <laughs> my day of uh, student teaching and stuff and uh, speculating on some of the some of this news and what we could get, right? It's, it's really not a lot to go off of here. And we've gotten a lot of big recent news, I feel like, over the last year. Not all of it is worth making this sort of video for, but... I figure, what the heck, right? We can we can kind of take a look, see what they're working on, and, and maybe take a couple guesses about what this will will end up being, right? So let's see here. We've got, uh, according to The Hollywood Reporter, the multi-year pact with rights holders Embracer Group AB allows Warners to develop features based on J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings books and The Hobbit. Embracer Group, the Swedish gaming company, acquired the rights to produce Lord of the Rings films, games, merchandise. Yep, so uh, skipping down a little bit, right? So this is just from, again, that Hollywood Reporter article. And again, there's been rights movements uh, about Lord of the Rings, and it looks like that we will be getting more games. We've obviously got War of the Rohirrim coming up, right? Rings of Power Season 2, for what it's worth coming up, all of this stuff uh, coming up in the next couple years. So a lot more Lord of the Rings stuff, but again, kind of an unexpected move, right? Uh, this was announced during Warner Brothers Discovery Investor Call Thursday. Um, let's see. And initially floated the notion of Lord of the Rings Return. So uh, just kind of, again, just trying to read through, make sense of some of this. And it seems that according to what I've seen in... Uh, on Twitter and so forth, right? here, Here's this as well. In a statement, Jackson and his Lord of the Rings partners, Fran Walsh and Philippa Boyens, noted that they were aware of the latest developments. Said the trio, quote, Warner Brothers and Embracer have kept us in the loop every step of the way, right? And so uh, there you go. So it looks like this will be happening from New Line and so forth. I'll pull up a couple more articles linked in the description. So Polygon, new Lord of the Rings movies are on their way. And uh, the same sort of thing here. So, right, I, I don't think there's a, a lot of new information to uh, to add, but like I mentioned as well, right, the War of the Rohirrim and so forth are also slated to come out in the next couple of years. And I know that Warner Brothers has been going through a lot recently, a lot of management changes. I'm not quite sure about all of it, but I know a lot of things have been changing at that company. So that makes sense that maybe they, you know, they still have these rights and that they want to do more with them. So yeah, uh, feel free to take a look at these articles and many more out there, surely on uh, a bunch of different websites. I'm sure everybody's writing and talking about this right now. It's pretty big entertainment news. So now for my thoughts on it and for what, uh, for what I think this could be. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I will admit that the recent television show, Rings of Power, season one at least, has made me a lot more skeptical about new projects being announced. And I'm really hoping that these next couple of years aren't just about quantity, but are far more about quality, right? Uh, I would much rather have three incredible Lord of the Rings movies and so forth over a 20 year time span that are just so memorable that, that you keep watching them year to year and so forth like we've had, than to get you know, almost like this cinematic universe for Middle Earth that's very meh, you know, that's very mid. And so that's what I'm a little bit worried about. And it's not all the same company, which gives me a little bit more hope. It's not all Amazon. If these were all Amazon projects, I'd probably be a lot more upset right now and a lot more, uh, a lot more skeptical, right? But it doesn't seem that, you know, it seems like these projects, the video games, the movies, uh, all of these kinds of ideas are coming from a bunch of different sources, right? Warner Brothers, Amazon, and all of these video game companies and so forth. So that's good at least. But again, I just want that quality over quantity. I don't want them to just be making things because you can make money from this franchise. I don't want that quality over quantity. I'll say it again. I'll say it many times for sure in the coming years. But 
Uh, we'll see. I, I, you know, I don't think it's enough to be cynical. In fact, I, I'm still like hopefully optimistic for sure on a lot of these projects. Again, I will say that Rings of Power has has made me a bit more cynical and skeptical with all of these things. But what I'm hoping for is that okay, if we're getting Lord of the Rings movies, at least movies set in the universe, do not remake the movies. And this does not seem to be a remake. This seems to be much more of like a, we're going to expand. And so if that's the case, awesome. I would start with the Angmar, uh, the Angmar War, and then maybe the fall of Khazad Doom and the Gondorian Civil War. I would pull out uh, stories from the Third Age, perhaps the... Um, the founding of Rohan, the ride of Eorl the Young, and so forth. Almost kind of like these movie concepts that uh, that are much more contained to certain peoples or certain, certain groups uh, or even parts of Middle-earth. And that would be awesome because I've seen so many good fan films throughout my whole life that do that kind of thing. That they take a simple character, a simple concept, and they just build this incredible... Um, you know, two hour movie, hour and a half world out of it, right? We've had the Horn of Gondor, I believe was the name of it recently. Uh, I know at some point a group was working on a, a, a film called Fog on the Barrow Downs. I'm not sure if that's still in production, but there's of course Born of Hope, which is my favorite fan film, I think of all time. And uh, The Hunt for Gollum is incredible as well. So in many ways, yes, while there are great, grand, huge events and battles that happened in the history of Middle-earth that these movies could totally show, especially if they have the budget and the directing and the production, all that stuff for it, then yeah, that would be awesome. But if they are trying to go more of like the cinematic universe route, which again, I have my reservations for, uh, they should start with something smaller, right? Character stories, uh, very much, you know, uh, simplistic, not overly complicated plot lines, but plot lines that mean a lot to us who have read the books and, and things like that. I just really, really want them to stick to the source material, right? I, I, obviously, there's going to be changes, but for something like Rings of Power, we've seen way too many changes. That show was crazy with the amount of changes that it didn't even need to make. But again, there's the whole problem of rights and what rights they had, didn't have. Stay in the Third Age. Stay with stories that are incredible that you can explore the, the entirety of them. If Warner Brothers can follow in this kind of direction and have that quality over quantity, right? Having things be good rather than having a lot of different projects, then this, this is great news, right? I'm super excited. So, well, I'll keep this nice and short, as short as I can. Um, let me know what you all think in the comments down below. Uh, I really appreciate it, you know, and uh, I'm excited for the conversations that we're going to have here in, uh, in the coming years about perhaps more, hopefully, incredible movies coming out soon. So really fast, thank you to our Valar tier patrons. Uh, Peter Shepard, Jonathan Putin, M. Mark Kralik, Molly Sullivan, Blair Scouten, Merton, John Hume, Sam McBee, Matt Sabatch, Elizabeth Calvert, Maz Gibbs, Reese Jenkins, Adam Petrolik, Anthony Harmon, Dorwin Gray, Arthur Merlin, Dale Davis, Kingswald Project, and Robert Bogue. To support the channel, uh, please consider getting some candles from our friends Mythology Candles or order some Weta or United Cutlery Lord of the Rings swords, statues, and other replicas from Castle Khan, who does international shipping and use the code WEST at checkout. Please check out our merch and Patreon. My friends, thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, let me know your thoughts about all of this, and thank you all so much for joining me on this adventure. Until the next one.